showing you the things that I'm going to be that I'm excited to use for this fall. Um, and today I thought I would start with lipsticks, which is one of my favorite things to kind of enhance and change during the fall time. So um, what to expect for today is basically more of a higher end lipsticks um, for fall. And then following this, you will see my drugstore picks um, for fall. I didn't want to combine them because I had so many ones that I was so excited about for the fall for from higher end. And then I have a bunch that I'm really excited to use from drugstore that I didn't want to combine and it would just be a really long video. So I'm going to do a higher end and then a drugstore lipstick um, picks for fall. And then I will do follow up with blush, nail polish, and possibly eyes. I'm not sure. I really don't have um, really, really high-end lipsticks. What I have mainly is MAC, uh, Too Faced and Tarte, and one NARS. So I'm going to start out with some MAC. The first one that I have here is one of my favorites. I just got this at the end of last year. This one is called Twig, and it is um, like a mid-tone rosy color, if you see there. And I'm actually going to try to insert. I'm going to swatch here on my hand and also insert um, lip swatches. So that is Twig right there, and it is basically like a mid-tone, a darker pink rose. And this is a really, really pretty um, lip color for fall and winter. That's definitely one of my favorites. So very similar to that, um, I have Cosmo. And actually, that one was a satin, a satin finish. So it's kind of like creamy, and it's not totally matte but it's not glossy. Um, it, they can somewhat dry out your lips, but I find like that one seems to be pretty comfortable. I usually put, will put a kind of waxy lip balm um, on my lips. Sometimes I'll use like the Nivea or the Blistex, um, the Blistex lip balm, like the one in the gray tube. Um, sometimes I'll, I'll use that under that. And it'll glide on pretty nicely and not dry out my lips. So the next one that I have here is called Cosmo, and this is an amplified finish. And it is very similar to Twig, but this one is slightly more pink, if you can see that right there. And it is an amplified finish, which means that it's very pigmented. They're both pretty pigmented. It is a little bit lighter um, than Twig, but it's perfect for fall. It's just a pretty, really pretty color. But I actually got this one last year, um, and I blame this one on Nessie Button. Anytime she raves about a lipstick, I feel like I have to have it, because she just has the best some of the best, um, she has a really good taste in lipstick and I just love the way they look on her. Um, but this one is called Plumful and I believe a lot of you have probably already seen this, which is just like a plummy, plummy, um, lipstick and it is a luster, which is one of my favorite finishes from MAC, which means it's, it's not super pigmented, but they're very glossy and they feel very, very comfortable on the lips. So this is Plumful right here, and on camera I think it's looking like it's very similar to Cosmo, but it is definitely more of a mauve plum. So moving on to darker colors here, and I tend to go towards more rosier, kind of darker, vampier colors towards um, in the fall, as you will see. <laughs> And winter. Usually I, these I primarily use during the fall and the winter. Although the winter I kind of just do whatever. I don't usually wear like the coral lipsticks in the winter or fall. But um, during the winter I tend to either go nude or wear a lot of these as well. So the next one that I have here is Bricola. I like wearing red, especially for work. I love red lipstick. But some of them can just be like a little too much, especially for work. Um, but this one is like a muted red. It's an amplified and it, again, it's called Bricola and it is just gorgeous. It is another of my favorite colors. One, another one of my favorites. So that's Bricola right there and hopefully you'll be seeing these on my lips. And again, that's almost like a bricky. It's not, it's, it says Brickola, but it's not a brick red at all. It's more like a muted rosy red. This one is Captive, and if you saw, you probably saw this already in my last haul. I did a um, Back to Mac for this lipstick, and this one is a Satin. And this is definitely a lot plummier, a little bit darker. So this is Captive right here. It's almost like a, kind of like burgundy, not totally burgundy, but a plummy. Um, plummy Rose, I would call that. And the next one that I have here is a kind of like a burgundy reddish color that I love wearing during the fall and the winter. This one's called Dubonnet. 
Um, I don't hear a lot of people talking about this one, um, but I really love this one. It is just like a really, it's just like a really rich red to me. Um, and it's a warm, it's really nice and warm, but I have to be careful not to put too much eye makeup when I wear this because it can look a little bit much. Um, although for fall, it looks like that is the trend this year is to kind of go smoky and vampy like that. So I don't think I can pull that off though. <laughs> and the next one that I have here, I actually bought towards the end or kind of like closer to the spring. And I knew I wasn't going to use it until now, but I haven't used this one yet. And it is called Hang Up. And it is just a gorgeous, gorgeous, um, vampy color. I, this one is my alternative instead of using Rebel. I got Rebel last year and actually returned it. I really didn't like how it looked. I thought it was a way too pink on me and I felt like it just looked a lot better on other people. It just looked more burgundy like I wanted it to. Um, other people and it never looked like that on me. And this one definitely looks the way I wanted, to, wanted Rebel to look. So my last MAC one, and I actually should have inserted this one with the lighter colors. This is my only Sheen Supreme, but I love the finish of this lipstick. It is very, very glossy. This one is called Impressive. It is like, a gorgeous gorgeous perfect fall color for me and that's it right there and it is like a mid-tone warm mauve right there can mauve be warm <laughs> i don't know but it does come out kind of warm when i wear it so that's it right there so it's almost like a nude but definitely one of my favorites for the fall. Moving on to non-MAC products. As you would have seen in my haul, I got this lipstick from Tarte. Um, I didn't want to include the other one only because I like that one a lot for fall. But I really had to limit it down to 12. I almost had like 15, 16 lipsticks. Obviously, that's a little much for top 10 or top 12. Um, but this one is called Playful. And it is, it is just gorgeous. It is perfect for the fall. It's, when I saw this online, I knew that it would be perfect for this time of the year. The next two that I have you would have seen in my haul. Um, and this time I'm including the lip swatches. So I, the first one that I have is by Too Faced. And these are beautiful. These are really, really nice on the lips. They're very creamy. Believe all the hype they hear about these. They're very soft and very shiny when they go on. This one that I have here is Cinnamon Kiss. These are all looking the same, by the way. <laughs> I'm going to put this right under the Tarte one. Um, and it's that one right there. So that is Cinnamon Kiss. And I would say that that's very close to my favorite, which is Twig. So if you have this one, you probably don't need Twig. Twig is right here. And then this is um, Cinnamon Kiss by Too Faced. Very, very similar. I think this one's probably a little bit glossier. MAC is a satin finish. And then the next one that I have here is Divine Wine. And this one is, again, by Too Faced, one of the little crumbs. And it's like a sheer, well, not sheer, but it's definitely a little bit lighter, but very um, creamy, shiny wine color. Very pretty. And the last one that I have, I believe this was included, yes. Um, I have a NARS, and this is my only NARS um, lip product that I have. This one is a velvet gloss lip pencil that I got towards the end of last year. Um, this one is in Baroque. I can't remember who talked about this one. I think I was watching Chelsea Wears and she had like swatches and I fell in love with the swatch and I went and uh, looked at it and picked it up. Um, but this is Baroque. The only thing that I don't like about these is that you have to sharpen them and I think with that when you do that you have to kind of, you lose a little bit of product but this is such a pretty, pretty lip crayon um, or lip pencil. Um, let me swatch that up top here. This one is so, for a lip pencil, it's like super, super creamy. And that's it right there. It is gorgeous. I hope you guys can actually see that. When you see it on the lip swatch, you'll probably be able to tell how creamy and glossy it is. It is such a beautiful, like, rosy, it's like a rose, it's like a rose color. color. And it does have, like, these silver, a silver sheen, but it is not, like... It's not gritty on the lips whatsoever. This is a really, really pretty one if you're looking into something for fall in this range, from this range. I do have one honorable mention um, that I didn't want to include in my top, but it is something. It's like a balm, so it's not technically a lipstick. 
Um, but I wanted to include this because I really, really like this. This one is by Kors. It is the, um, what do they call it? A lip butter from Kors. And this one is in Plum. And this is such a gorgeous lip butter. It is, a, again, you ha do have to dip your finger. My fingers are clean. And that's what it looks like right there. And again, I'll show you a lip swatch, but I'll try to swatch it here. Let's see where do I put it. I'll put it down here. It is actually pretty pigmented. I had this on my lips at one time at work, and one of the drug reps was like, what are you wearing on your lips? Because I love it. And she actually went out and got it and loves it. Um, this is really nice. It's actually sheer, but it gives you enough color, um, especially for the fall, I mean, it, or even the winter. It's a really, really nice color, and it's very comfortable on the lips. In terms of scent, these smell like... They smell sweet. I can't put my finger on exactly what it is that it smells like, but it smells really sweet. So that it, that's it for my top um, high-end lipsticks. I don't have anything higher end. This is probably my highest end. This is probably the most expensive one. Actually, the NARS and the Too Faced and these are like in the low 20s range. And that's probably as much as I've ever paid for a lipstick. But um, yeah, so that's what I that's what I have um, for my higher end lipstick picks. If you guys have any suggestions or recommendations on any higher end kind of lipstick colors that I would probably like um, for the fall and winter, please leave them down below. Let me know anything um, that from here from this that you have loved or anything other than this that you have loved, that you love wearing for fall and winter. Um, Please leave them down below. I always like to check out what other people like. Um, and obviously a lot of these look very similar. So I kind of like to kind of branch out sometimes and try different things. So um, anyways, I hope you guys are having a wonderful day and a wonderful fall day. Bye.